What's going on, Pokemon trainers? I'm Trainer Connor, and you're watching another Pokemon Battle video here in Pokemon Showdown Beta. I am recording this quite late. I don't know why, it's just something I'm used to doing now. It's just, yeah, it's really late, it's very quiet. Uh, this will be out later today, though, so don't worry. And uh, after this, I'm going to play some Rocket League later because I just downloaded it on the Switch for free, for those who are not aware, we're going to find time. Uh, shout out to Tech for letting us know that that was free. Anyways though, so we have a Gen 8 Ubers battle. It's actually the same team that I used last video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I will go over it because I made a few adjustments to the team here. Um, of course, if you don't want to hear me out, you can go down in the description as there will be a time stamp for that, so I'm jump straight to the battle for you. Now, we have a Dracovish here. I am actually swapping out the Choice Band with a Lumberry, so I kind of alternated the items a little bit, so um, Lumberry is on Dracovish now, and then Choice Band is on Melmetal. And the same new set applies for every single Pokemon I have, so I'm just going to mention just the items, okay? Dracovish is holding the Lumberry, Choice Band, Malmetal, and now uh, I believe Absol Blast Pokemon mentioned that he wanted some more Malmetal action. So I figured, hey, let's go ahead and in input a Choice Band for Malmetal to use. Because when that thing hits a Double Iron Bash, or a Darkest Lariat, or Earthquake, or Ice Punch, it's very, really, very powerful. You can see the attack stat right there. It's like over the roof good. And uh, G Max Cinderace instead of the Lumberry, I have the Choice Scarf. And Mungus, I didn't switch anything there. Fable as well, and Mewtwo. So everybody is going pretty well here. Um, this team is really good, not gonna lie. I just wanted to switch up a few items so that you can fare a little bit better in the battle. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, let's go to the battle. And I hope you all enjoy it. See you guys in just a moment. So welcome to the battlefield. I'm going to go over my team real quickly in case you guys um, went down in the description and clicked the timestamp. And uh, we have a Lumberry Dracovish, Choice Band Melmetal, uh, Choice Scarf Cinderace, and Mungus is holding the Black Sludge, so it's the same item for him, and the Fable is holding the Leftovers. YouTube is also holding the life form. So I only changed half of my team members' items around. That's okay. Now my opponent today has a lot of threats. Well, I shouldn't say a lot of them. He has a few. Most notably, he has access to GMAX and Teleon. Um, however, this is not a GMAX and Teleon. I, I completely screwed that up when I did my first recording. So, uh, that's a little unfortunate there, but that's okay. He has access to GMAS and Teleon, though. That's the important thing. Otherwise, his Mimikyu can also do that. High Dragon, maybe. And Mewtwo, I'm expecting him to be Life Orb or Choice Scarf, Choice Specs. And Axe Drill, be a Stealth Rocker for the team. Not sure what Drapion is going to do. Probably an offensive set. We'll see. But for now, let's jump right into the match. He starts off with Garpion, and I begin with Mewtwo. Not a good matchup here as far as typing goes. So I switch out and go into Clefable, expecting the Night Slash, which I proudly resist. Very good there. Now I'm expecting him to go for the Poison type move. So I go into Melmetal to resist it. He actually goes for Sludge Bomb, which I've never seen on a Drapion before. On top of that, he has the Sword Stance. That's even weirder. I don't know what's going on there. But in return, I get a Choice Banded Earthquake off and you're able to KO the Drapion. So, Choice Band, Melmetal is young. Now I go into Clefable expecting a Fire Type attack or if he's going over a Dragon type expecting a Switch. I go into Clefable. And uh, I go for Wish on the off chance that the Excadrill was coming in. So, so far, my opponent is playing pretty safe. He's not over predicting whatsoever. And that's fine by me. I go into Dracovish so that I can 
come in here safely. Uh, he goes to rock slide with his extra drill, but that's fine. I don't get flinched, and I get off a non-choice banded Fisher's Red. That's right, I'm holding the Lunderry this time. Now, I was expecting this Inteleon to go, uh, not Mega, but like, go G-Max, I don't know. <laughs> but he doesn't do that, so... But, you know what, it really doesn't matter because he's going to go for a little bit of a killing spree here. He goes for his Dark Pulse and I get flinched by one of those. That's unfortunate. Even more unfortunately, so I get KO'd by an Ice Beam, I knew I could live it because Amundus is quite bulky. Seeing that he's not going for the G-Max, I figured, okay, I'm gonna go for my own G-Max and outspeed him. Nope, just kidding, he goes for his Surf and just KOs me outright. So he just KOs three of my Pokemon there. Not a good look. I am surprised to find that I outspeed Inteleon. Had I knew this earlier, I should have just done that. And, and I would still have my Cinder Rays in the back. That is neither here nor there. Um, I get off a really powerful Aura Sphere off. Unfortunately, that does not kill, but that means I can revenge kill it somehow. I go back into Clefable. He goes into Beauty now. I go for my own Wish. I was not expecting that to happen, but I just want to get off a Wish so that I can get up to full HP if I can. He goes for a plus one Calm Mind here, and I was really hoping for a special attack drop. That does not happen. And he has Side Strike to boot. That does not help me here. I go back into Choice Band and Mel Metal as he's my only go-to Pokemon at this point in the battle. Once again, this is a Choice Banded hit, so I knew this would KO. This is my last Pokemon, so I have to be very careful in what I do here. I am Choice Banded, so... Uh, he goes to Flamethrower, I actually live it, so... That's good and all, but... He has Mimikyu, I know I lose this battle because I have to break his Substitute. And he can just go for his... Uh, Shadow Sneak or a Shadow Claw. But then I find out that he's a uh, G-Max uh, so that really sucked. I, there was really nothing I could do about it though. But anyways though, that was a really good battle. It was another quick battle today because Showdown be like that. I hope my narration wasn't too terrible. Um, I am a little bit tired as I'm recording this quite late, but this battle was a really good battle. I really enjoyed it. So thank you to my opponent for the match. And uh, be on the lookout for a Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle later this week. And uh, with that said, I will see you all next time. Goodbye, trainers.